In this video, we're going to be going over two of the best dark matter farms in New World, as well as how you can get yourself an elemental aversion health set while you're farming that dark matter. So before we jump too deep into the video, this is not going to be a video mentioning the worm raid. You can get a significant amount of dark matter every week doing the worm raid, but it's not accessible to every player in the game, or at least not yet. Once players get their gear score up, I do think a lot more groups will be running the raid, and it'll be a lot easier for people to get into those groups. But for for now, we're just going to go over two of the easier methods and two of the methods that you will absolutely be able to do. So the first method may be a pretty obvious one, but it's one that I see a lot of people kind of overlook, and that is just simply by running mutation level one expeditions. In a week like this week, for example, you can run Genesis mutated level one, and an average run you can typically complete in about 15 minutes if you're running with a pretty solid group. Every time you gold one of these M1 runs, you're going to get 24 dark matter. I have found that if you're running this, you also get quite a lot of gear that you can salvage into Dark Matter, which usually nets you a little bit over 100 Dark Matter an hour, give or take, depending on how many runs you can successfully complete within that hour. This is a great way to get some extra gear and potentially get some good gear that you're even going to use and get Dark Matter. In my opinion, if you're going strictly for Dark Matter, this is a much more efficient way and much more reliable method than running something like M2s or M3s. This is simply because your success rate at golding an M1 is going to be much, much higher than it is at an M2 or an M3, at least for most groups. So you can consistently get that 24 Dark Matter per run and consistently get those items to salvage for Dark Matter as you're completing these M1s. And the next method is one that I've been seeing float around the New World community. And today, whenever I was on stream, I went and specifically did this method per the request of chat. This method does work very, very well. And so I just wanted to share this with you guys because as I was doing this, I also had a ton of people coming into the stream asking where this was, what we were farming this for, and how it worked. So what we're talking about here is going to the very northern part of Eden Grove. And at the very northern part of Eden Grove, you're going to find a location called Isvari's Isolation. It is a cave that has a Yeti inside. Here is going to be Isvari. There's probably going to be quite a few people here, and that is a good thing because you want to be able to kill this boss as quickly as possible. And the way this works is that this boss drops a lot of named items. So essentially, you just stand here and you farm this boss. It's going to drop some named items. You're going to salvage those named items for dark matter, and you do this over and over and over. The boss has about a 15 second respawn timer, making this very, very quick. And you're not going to get a bag every single kill, but you do get a ton of of named items which usually net you around 100 dark matter per hour making this a very good farm for dark matter and then in the process of farming the yeti for dark matter you can also get some pretty decent items specifically the wood grain armor set this armor set comes with elemental aversion and health locked on it with a chance at a random third perk. And with this set, you can take it over to the gypsum kiln and upgrade it. So this means that you can get an elemental aversion, health, and whatever perk of your choice and deck that set out. This is a heavy set, a full heavy set, however. So if you don't want heavy armor, this may not be for you. But if you are looking for a heavy set or some good elemental version gear, this may be an option for you as you're farming out the dark matter. The Yeti also drops several wood grain weapons that can also be upgraded at the gypsum kiln, but they all have shirking nature on there. So they're not super great, but I thought it'd be worth mentioning just because these are upgradable items. And then the jewelry that the Yeti drops consists of the wood grain jewelry. The wood grain earring comes with regenerating and fortifying toast locked on it. The ring has thrust damage and poisoning, and then the amulet has fortified recovery and divine. So the jewelry and the weapons aren't nearly as good as the armor. In my opinion, the armor is going to be pretty good if you're in the market for a heavy set of elemental aversion and health gear. This would be an excellent place to go farm that out for free and get a lot of dark matter in the process. But that's going to do it for this one, boys and girls. I just wanted to share that information with you guys. Running M1s and then going and fighting the Yeti in Northern Eden Grove are two excellent ways to obtain dark matter in New World at the moment. Dark matter is quite the bottleneck for a whole lot of people, so hopefully this will help some of you guys out. And again, this information about the Yeti has been floated around quite a lot, but I had this highly requested on the stream today, so I decided to make a video for you guys. So hopefully this helps you out if you weren't aware of this farm. Also, as a quick disclaimer, I fully expect that farm to be nerfed. 
I think that they're going to nerf the spawn rate of that Yeti. So you might want to take advantage of that while you can. But that's going to do it for this one, boys and girls. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy New World, enjoy New World content, please make sure to like and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate that as well. And of course, we stream over on twitch.tv slash BDLG every Monday, every Friday, 8 o'clock a.m. CST. And we will soon be simulcasting that stream over here on YouTube as well. So be on the lookout for that. But once again, that's going to do it for this one, boys and girls. Thank you guys. We'll see you in the next one.